Hi, I'm going to have a look here at creating totals queries and crosstab queries using Access 2007 in preparation for the advanced DCDL test. Now, I want to have a look at the hours worked on each of the locations by all of our workers. So I've started a query here. It shows the work location, the person and the hours they've worked on that particular day. What I'd like to do though is do some more analysis. So I don't want to show the individual person. I'll get rid of those. Oops. I'd like to show the totals instead. So if I run that at the moment, that information obviously isn't very useful. I'm going to create totals instead by clicking on the totals option just here. I'm grouping it by location. I want to add up the total has worked, so I'm going to do some here. Now if I run it again, you can see that it's created those totals for us automatically. Okay, that's not too bad to understand, however I might like to, uh, to break it down a bit further and show the total hours worked for each day. And that gets a bit more complicated. I'm going to swap these into a slightly more logical order. So I'm going to group it by work location and by date. See here, it's got all of the information each day that we've got here for each of the centres and the total hours, but it's not very easy to understand. We're going to have to scroll through, really, to find all the information we want. And it's not going to be easy to compare. So now this is where a cross-tab query comes in. So we've got the cross-tab cross query option just here. And now we get an, another row appearing across here. Now with a cross tab, you're always going to have three columns of information, three sections of information here. One of them has got to be set as a column, one as the row, and one as the value. So I'll have the work location as the row heading. I'll have the date as the column heading. And I'm going to have the hours worked as the value. Let's run that and see how that looks now. So that looks an awful lot more useful now than it was before. Exactly the same information, but it's just a lot easier to understand. So I'm going to save that. So I could, if I wanted to, change this from hours worked. Perhaps I could change this to worker ID and change this to count. And the same query now would count the number of people working at each of the centres on the different days. So now it shows us by personnel. So if ever you get a, a question that says you've got to use something for a particular row heading, for a particular column heading, it is talking about a cross-tab query. With a cross-tab query, you also have to have the totals column along here, so the totals row. And the one that's set as the value has got to be one of the options other than group by. More, most commonly it's going to be the sum or the count. I hope that helps and good luck with your test.